Hello everyone, uh, I am Alam Dil Singh. This video I will show some functions uh, using Octave. So, okay, so this is my Jupyter Notebook. So this is the functions. Okay, so for example, this is a function of x is x squared minus 1. So how can we define a function? So this function structure is like this. Okay, say so x is the input and f is the output. And this function f is like x squared minus 1. Then this is a function. So we can find the value of a function. For example, the value is 2. So if uh, x is 2, then the output is 3. That is this. Okay. Uh, okay. We can also use uh, a vector as an input, for example, 2 and 3, the vector. So, what will be the output? There is an error. So, why error? Because this is a uh, this is a vector. So, in here, this a function is defined as like a x square. So, if we use this operation dot square, uh, then it will, it will uh, work like a component wise. Okay, so now this 3 and 8, for example, that is for x value is input is 2, then 2 square minus 1 is 3, and for x value is 3, so 3 square minus 1 is 8. Okay, so in here the input is 1 and the output is 1, so we can also define a function like more inputs and more outputs. For example, this is the another function say x is the input and y is the input two inputs so z1 and z2 are two outputs so z1 is like the square of x square plus y square and z2 is like x plus y okay so for example if x is 2 and y is 3 that is z1 will be x square plus y square and uh, and this this b so in here the output is a and b so a means like z1 and b means like z2 so in here 2 square plus 3 square is 13 and 2 plus 3 is 5 so in this case you can also use x and y and uh, not just two numbers you can also use say x is a is a vector and y is a vector right so we can you can define like capital a is this and capital b is this so we can find the output for this vector okay so now uh, this a1 is 5 and 13 and b1 is 3 and 5 we can also define a function like this way okay for example y equals to cos hyperbolic x x by x over 4 this is a function so y0 is 1 okay so you can define a function like this way. or for example we can define a function say okay uh, shy equals to no say okay say g equals to at x comma y right so it's like x uh, x plus y simple x plus y okay so this is a g function right we can use a semicolon so it will not show the output right so for example i can write okay g is 2 comma 3 so it's just the sum of this 2 and 3 is 5 that's it now in here the the factorial function so this is another function about the factorial so we know the factorial is okay for example 5 factorial is the multiplication of 5 and then 4 and then 3 2 and 1 right so this is 5 factorial so we can define a function for this factorial function say so, okay f is uh, is a fact a uh, name of the function so this f a c t fact is the name of this function and n uh, and is the input so then output is f okay so and this is the product of 1 to 5 so for example in here i am using this uh, this function p r o d so this is a built-in function of octa uh, so then it will use uh, it will multiply from 1 to n then finally it will give you the output f okay for example fact 5 it's like uh, sorry uh, this and then 
fact 5 is 120 okay uh, th this is where we can find the factorial of this okay uh, yeah these, these are several types of functions that is you can define different functions in MATLAB so that is in, in the function we, we need a structure like function and function in in function or only in uh, it works for both and we need the input for this function and it will some output for this function and input maybe one or more inputs or more outputs and the function name uh, yeah uh, thank you for watching uh, this video